This is the 2010 Nissan Rogue. Came out last year in 2009. Haven't done any changes on it so far for this year. Um, they have changed some of their option packages around, but primarily basic from inside and outside, everything has stayed the same. This one is the SL model. They come in two models. They have an S and the SL. The S is pretty much what you see is what you get. It is the Nissan Rogue, um, getting you what you basically need, your all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive, or you have the SL, and that one will allow you to cater to exactly what you need. Um, this one is fully equipped with the leather package, convenience package, and we'll go over some of those options and what's on this vehicle. But from the outside, it comes standard with alloy wheels. It also comes standard with tinted glass in the back, and we also have the luggage rack along the top. So the only thing you're going to notice on the outside of the vehicle from the 2010 S to the 2010 SL model. The engine that comes standard, there is uh, only one engine, it is the four cylinder engine. It is the same engine that's in our Altima, it's a 2.5 liter, 170 horse engine. There is no timing chain uh, or belt uh, in this vehicle. Uh, this chain uh, driven engine, there's no maintenance. Uh, what we have in here is a, is a chain, no uh, maintenance whatsoever. Internally lubricated, um, Nissan has done that in all their vehicles. The Rogue, of course, comes with that as well. If we walk along the side of the vehicle, we'll notice the styling, the stance. One of the new things for O10 is the chrome handles on the door. It just kind of sets the car off a little bit from the 2009. With this vehicle, we do have the intelligent key. This is the key to the vehicle. That is it. We just keep this in our pocket. As we walk up to the vehicle within two feet, we can press the button to lock or unlock the vehicle. Leather seats is in this model like we mentioned earlier. Power seats, power lumbar support, Bluetooth hands-free phone system, all located on the steering wheel, audio controls, and of course cruise control as well. The drivetrain and the platform of this is based off of the Altima, our number one selling car. Consumer Reports number one pick as well. Share the same platform so it rides like a car, handles more like a car, but yet it does have that SUV characteristic of sitting up higher and having that all-wheel drive in the vehicle as well. The all-wheel drive starts out in a front-wheel drive. If it senses any slippage whatsoever, it will automatically apply this to the rear wheel, front wheel, or up to 90% traction alone to get you through that um, snow, mud, or whatever that situation may be. In the back, if you follow me back behind here, we'll kind of show how much room is in the back of the Rogue. good amount of room to put your luggage, any type of cargo, and if this is not large enough, we can remove this guy here, flip these seats down with a simple flip, and now we can accommodate a ladder, um, a rug, anything like that for when the ladies are shopping outside. Uh, they don't have to worry about grabbing the husband's truck or anything like that. The 2010 Rogue, you're going to notice just my seating position. I'm able to grab and touch anything without leaning forward, putting it down into drive, Pressing the Bose audio system, turn it on, turning it off, adjusting any of our audio controls. Very easy to reach without moving yourself forward. Even placing your hands on the steering wheel, you'll notice there's an indentation here just for a better fit feel on the vehicle. All of our audio controls and cruise control mounted right on there as well with the Bluetooth hands-free phone system like I mentioned earlier. That system will allow you to pair up to five different phones directly to the car. And uh, by doing so, it's very easy to do. Press the button. The lady will come on and give you all voice command prompts on how to set up your phone. It can be done within about uh, about two minutes or so. Um, and it will allow you to pair it uh, five different phones directly to the vehicle. That way if you've got a primary phone, a work phone, or anyone else that drives in the vehicle with you, you can do so. Lights in this vehicle, this one is the premium model. It does have the xenon headlamps. Those are supposedly 50 times brighter than a traditional light. Uh, they're gas filled and you'll notice they'll get brighter as you turn them on and uh, you'll notice also the feel of the vehicle inside we've got a very um, cockpit kind of feel very sporty look same as kind of like our 350z in our round cluster gauges and things like that uh, the transmission on here uh, very easy to grab and get a hold of put it down to d for drive the transmission is a cvt uh, that transmission's got that two pulleys with the metal cable and allowing those pulleys to expand or contract giving an infinite number of gear ratio. So as we're driving along, you're not going to feel any of that shift shock. 
just very easily give it the gas. This vehicle will get up to speed very well. Um, you won't have that downshifting or anything like that when you go to pass a car. Um, you'll also notice when you get this out on the highway, you'll be doing 65 miles an hour and it'll idle at around 2,000 RPM. What that does for us is it allows the engine not to have to work as hard. Better gas miles, better performance. We get around 26 miles per gallon highway and around 21 miles per gallon in the city in an SUV. Temperature controls, very easy, very easy to adjust. We've got 20 notches for our fan speed, hot and cold, and then where we want that uh, direction of that air to come out of. Bose premium sound system, like I mentioned earlier, we can put six CDs directly into this dash with an auxiliary input for an iPod or any MP3 player. Moonroof in the vehicle, that's also part of this package. This vehicle does have the moonroof, very easy auto open, auto close, with just a simple press of the button on the vehicle as well. Safety wise, this vehicle is a five star rated. We have not only our front airbags, but we also have the side beams built into our doors. We have our side airbags that deploy out of the side of the seat, and our side curtains that deploy out of the ceiling as well. So hopefully we're never in, in a collision, but if we are, there's a lot protecting us and our occupants.